Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look at the latest build of Windows 10, build 18.312, released today on January 9th, 2019. Second build of the year and of course we're uh, slowly going to uh, what is going to be the official build eventually for 19H1. So what is to note in this build, first of all, it had to re-download twice. So it took longer than usual because of that. It uh, downloaded, it started the install and it seemed it didn't work. So it re-downloaded and reinstalled it twice, giving me a install time longer than usual, around five hours, which was quite long, but it did install at some point. Another glitch that I had is when I had the restart button, to click to restart, it said, oh, couldn't restart. If you got some problems, well, you know, check the documentation. And I would click the restart, didn't want, didn't want. I went to start on the bottom left. And in here, I clicked the power button. And in here, I, of course, clicked restart and install the uh, updates. That did work. So I had no problem with that. But from the restart button and the settings, it just wouldn't want to do anything. So that's kind of a weird thing. Um, after it installed, well, I did have a blue screen. I got one blue screen this afternoon uh, while using it. So I took a little more time uh, using it to make sure it wasn't plagued. It seems to be the same blue screen, the same error message that the last build had. So uh, it, it does blue screen. I did try the, um, of course, the Windows Sandbox mode. It works. Seems to work well, uh, although it's very, very, very slow. So what's new in here? Not a lot of things, but one of them is something called the reserved disk space to keep Windows up to date. So I posted a video talking about this uh, yesterday where seven gigabytes of space was to be set aside for uh, a streamlined update. Now there's one big problem with this because um, to have it in this build, you had to go through a quest. So, okay, um, I was okay with doing a quest. The problem is, just to give you an idea, here's the build information, and let's go here. So it tells you that you need to, re to do a quest. So I clicked, okay, okay, uh, but I didn't know before, so of course I don't have it, but so just run through this quest, okay. Here it goes. I'm going through the quest. It's going to ask me for the feedback hub to uh, start. And I go to the feedback hub and in there it tells me, well, quest complete or something. It's, it's actually very weird the way that it's done. So I don't know. Maybe it's just that. I, I really don't know what the hell it's trying to do. But if you haven't done that before in Team 312, you don't have the reserves storage space. Apparently, if we've done that, we're going to have it in the next build, but I don't know if it worked because it's kind of weird the way that it showed up. Uh, it's kind of weird. Anyways, that storage space is to make the streamline of updates better. There's something called FLS slot limiting, slot limit increase. So as PCs get more powerful, uh, you know, musicians sometimes want to do complex uh, projects with... Uh, uh, audio and they have files running like you know multiple tracks and so on so uh, beyond musicians of course there's a um, way now that all of this is dynamically increased and better in performance so there's a little bit of these little things here that are changed also uh, there's a new UI for reset this PC so if you go into uh, settings we go here and you go into update and security that we will go in a few seconds and uh, in here you go into the left side to recovery uh, there's a more consistent way of doing recovery from here so if you click to reset this PC option it's actually going to bring up a um, little panel that's gonna say you know uh, keep my files, remove everything, and so on. And from there, it's going to be a little easier, apparently, to understand what you need to go through in the different options. 
So the reset this PC option is simpler to understand. If you have the system, the subsystem for Linux command, uh, well, what's going to happen here in WSL is that uh, the Windows system um, subsystem for Linux in Windows 10 has new commands and command line options. So if you use that kind of thing, they've kind of optimized that a little more. And that's pretty much it what you have. And you know what? I don't expect that there will be that much more in the next builds because we have reached a point where bug fixing is pretty much what's going to happen. Uh, I want to take time to, of course, talk about one thing. There's a lot of uh, quests that you can do. So even though we're not in the feed, uh, the, the, uh, the moment for the uh, bug bash, which will be at the end of the month, there's a lot of quests you can do right now to uh, actually check it out. So go to the quest on the left side of your PC uh, in the feedback hub and look at that. Tons of quests to do that you can actually do this weekend in the next few days. And of course, there's going to be the bug bash that's going to be in the uh, end of the month, towards the end of January, that you'll be able to check out for sure also. Um, so apart from that, of course, I did have a blue screen. That seems to be the same blue screen from last time. Uh, if you remove that, it seems to work quite well. Um, I had a pretty good uh, experience with the build. And um, for now, it seems to work. It's a little slow in the load time. When I shut down the PC and try to load back uh, or start the system, it seems to be slower than usual. So it uh, a little is complicated uh, for that. But apart from that, it seems to work. And of course, you know, we're still a couple of months back or away from the official build. So there'll be time to uh, fix things. That's for sure. And so uh, they've added a few things, by the way. Uh, there's a, um, they, uh, they know about the blue screen, by the way, or the green screen. So if you have the uh, B-I-N-D, bind, F-T, F-L-T dot S-E-S, or S-I-Y-S, sorry, bug check or green screen of that, they know about it. They're investigating why Windows Sandbox is not loading on some PCs. So uh, if all of that's happening, they know about it. They're testing it out. What about you? How has it gone for you? Let us know. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.